This video is going to go over how to edit a driver's log. The first thing that you need to do is go to web.loadtrack.net and sign in with your company credentials. You are going to see this blank page once you get logged in. You are going to click on hours of service, which is the second item down. A new pop-up will appear. It's going to start out blank with no driver selected and just default to today's date. To see your drivers, you can do a couple different things. You can use this drop down arrow here in the top left hand corner. It will show you all the drivers within the company. Or you can click on this um, brown clock icon. It will show you all your drivers in the company and it will show you the logs for the current time. To get out of that, just click anywhere on the screen. And then you can also just type into this box here in the top left corner of the driver's name and just hit enter, and then the driver's log for today's date will appear. To change the date, what you can do is use these arrows to go back and forth. So if I wanna see yesterday's log, I will click this arrow, and it will take me to yesterday's log. Another thing that you can do is click on the date, and you can use the calendar to select a specific date. So if I wanna see October 2nd, I can change the month here with these two arrows and then click on the actual date on the calendar. Another thing you can do also is click on this blue calendar in the middle of the screen. It will show the driver's logs, or a mini version of the driver's logs for the days that they worked. You can also click on the date to bring you to a specific day. Um, to ch look at periods, you can change periods by selecting these arrows. So if you want to go period by period, you can use these arrows to highlight on the grid that specific period, and it will show it down here in this duty period box, which gives you all the information for that period. So to edit a driver's log, the first thing that you must do is click on options. You A pop-up will appear, and you must check the box that says allow log edits. This allows you to make any changes to the driver's log now. So if we want to edit the driver's um, off-duty period, the driver forgot to sign back on after its break. So what we are going to do is you're going to double click on the grid here. A box will appear. What you need to do is, so let's say we were going to sign the driver back on. We're going to backspace the time that is currently in there and then type in the time where we want the driver to sign on. So since the driver uh, started its break at 1621, we're gonna sign the driver back on at 1652. That way, if the driver had started the break a couple seconds in to 1621, like it did at um, the 27 second, we then wanna do 1622 just to make sure that the driver will be compliant. So I typed in my time here to the time box. Then the next step we need to do is change the duty status. So it currently is off duty. What we wanna do is change it to not driving. Then it will automatically default the current truck number. So for some reason the driver was at a relay or changed trucks, you would wanna change the truck number here. The driver did not do any relays, so we are gonna keep the truck number the same. Next, we are going to enter the proximity. So where was the driver at? The driver was in Iowa, so we're going to put the town name and the state. Then down here in this box, we are going to, um, you can either just put your initials or why you're making this um, log change. And then lastly, you're just going to hit add. Then it's going to spin and think for a second, and it's going to apply your change to the graph. Anytime an office personnel makes a change to a driver's log, it will show as a candy striped line. So anything from the driver that was in the truck is going to be a solid line. Office is going to be a candy stripe line, and if the driver changes their own log in the truck, it will show as a dotted candy stripe line. So that is how you add to a driver's log. The next thing we want to do is show you how to um, delete something from a driver's log. So this period right here shows where we had logged the driver back on after its break, and then there's a um, 
the where the driver had signed back on and then went to driving. So we want to delete this period. Um, so what we would do is you highlight it, go to options, go to edit period. Now we are going to put why we are editing this period. And then just click the remove button. Now we see in the duty periods here, we only have one on duty not driving. We also can see all of our changes that we made to the driver's log down here in this comments box. So here we see the two changes that we made. This one is the first one where we put the driver on duty not driving. And then this is the second one where we deleted the on duty not driving, um, where the driver actually just went to driving. Then after you make any changes to a driver's log, you must go back to options and click send edits. What this will do is send the edits to the truck so that the driver can validate that those changes are correct. So then just hit OK. And then that is how you um, edit a driver's log.